Hey guys, and welcome to your weekend love reading. This is for all of you guys who are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what you guys got going on in the love department. Fire signs, what do they got going on this weekend in love? Thank you. Wow, that's a whole bunch. Okay, we got give your relationship a chance, make the effort, codependency, and attraction. Okay, so you could be getting out of a quite difficult place with within a relationship. Um, you have been maybe um, contemplating whether or not this relationship's for you, whether or not this person's for you. Um, it's saying to work on your partnership. Um, and make the effort within this partnership because if you want nowhere, no relationship is perfect and the grass is going to be greenest where you stand because you water your own lawn. So it's really um, asking you to make the effort to work on this relationship. There could be some addictions affecting your life or codependency of some sort, but the attraction is real. It's, it's, uh, there's such a sexual attraction and like a mental attraction to this person, um, for one, for two, the two of you will enjoy the weekend more if you enjoy the moment, if you allow happiness in the moment. Um, so it's very important for this connection. So let's see what you fire signs have going on. Fire signs energy. You guys have the magician. So yes, starting, starting over from the beginning, let's wipe this slate clean. We know what it takes to make this work. Let's do it. Let's stop, you know, playing the games. Let's stop, you know, trying to one up each other. Let's just put in the time and the effort and start over fresh, start over new. Um, yeah, because there is a lot of hurt in this relationship. There was a lot of pain, but you've really transformed through all this fire signs. You're really taking the pain and using that to your advantage, using it to grow, learn, um, and to you know, really transform the way you see relationships, um, at this time. All right. You have the ace of wands, the ace of cups and the six of wands. Wow. So renewing that passion, renewing, you know, finding, finding time to follow your inspiration, to follow your heart. There's a sense of ins inspiration here that is going to um, rekindle this relationship there. Like I said, there already is a strong attraction. Um, but there's a lot of learning that needed to be done. A lot of effort that needed to be made. Um, that's really, you're really getting the opportunity this weekend and it's going to prove to be very successful. If you do take what you know, take the tools that you have, take what you've learned and then move forward with passion and love. And you're guaranteed to have success. Absolutely. Your next card out is the four of wands. So this is going to transform the home. This is going to transform the relationship. It's going to become more stable, strong, steady, something you can count on, something you look forward to when you get off work to come home to. Um, this is really going to turn the page on the past, leaving the past behind. You have the queen of cups and the king of wands. Wow. Lots of passion moving forward. Um, you're really getting into your feels. You're really, um, allowing your emotions to lead and guide the way, or they are, and ready to take action, moving out of this difficult situation that you guys have been in. Um, could have been some financial issues or just not really investing in the connection. Um, and now it's time to make that effort, to put the, put the effort in to work on this connection and leave the hurt in the past. This is over. This is done. Um, it's behind you now and it's a completed cycle. So hallelujah. You guys are truly wiping the slate clean, starting over, focusing on the future this weekend. Okay. Let me call for it, please. Oh my goodness. Let me call for it, please. All right. The potential outcome of this connection here, this potential outcome of the weekend Wow, the emperor and the star. Well, if that isn't two amazing uh, energies, standing strong in what you believe in, stand. this relationship's going to come out stronger than ever. 
um, taking a stand for what you want, what you need. It's not only bringing you a healing energy this weekend, but it's most definitely bringing you a wish granted energy as well. Um, no longer pouring your emotions out for no return. Um, finding finding joy and happiness within each other is something I keep hearing as well. Um, it's going to become so strong. Look at that. This is a gift, an opportunity um, with the three of wands and the eight of cups, leaving the past behind because there's many blessings on the future for the, in the future for the two of you with that ace of pentacles here. This is a God given opportunity to build something amazing. that's filled with passion, love, and the material, the spiritual, everything, your emotional, your, this is just an absolutely great reading. When you take the time, when you give yourself, um, permission, I keep hearing to make the effort. This is going to work, um, in so many more ways than what you could have thought, uh, possible. Um, this could be the one. So most definitely fire signs. If you have been on the rocks with somebody, um, it's heading towards success. The main thing is this weekend is you have to allow the past to be the past. You have to find that inspiration. You have to find that love and, uh, and take that opportunity and let it grow. Give yourself and this person a chance. It's time to work on this partnership because it's worth making the effort. There could be some codependency or some addiction issues that the two of you will have to work through, but it's not anything that the two of you can't handle because there's such a strong romantic love between the two of you, but it's going to end up ending if you don't take the time and effort to um, put into this connection and put into each other, letting each other know how um, you feel about each other. So take the time this weekend to do that and you shouldn't have any problems um, with this connection. Let's get a chakra card for the weekend as well here. All right, let's a chakra card for our Aries. All right, Aries, you guys have passion. Leo, you guys have recovery. Wow. And Sagittarius. You guys have perfection. Okay, so with this passion, this is the uh, sacral chakra there, um, Aries, and it says, you are correct to feel passionate about your position. Follow your instincts. You know intuitively what's right for you. Ask yourself, are your daily actions supporting my real passion? What am I willing to stand for? Follow your passion and be authentic, taking a stand for yourself and being acknowledged. Um, you may feel ostracized by family and friends, but being emotionally centered is what is being called for right now. You are a strong feminine energy with a happy outcome on the horizon. Remember to have the passion, bravery, that it takes to follow your own passions. Wow, that's pretty strong there, uh, Aries. So, Leo, you guys have recovery. And this is all about, um, you know, Lilac offers, offers detachment as you allow yourself to see the big picture. What once may have been immaturity is now about growing into a new partnership with spirit. Step back and allow the angels to bring healing to you. Once the key has been used to open the door, you will have a new way of living. One without keys. Where you are headed, there are no locks. It is time to recover a part of you that has been dormant. Are you ready to live an inspired future? Facing fears and realizing wounding is strength. Oh my gosh, I was just saying that during your guys' reading. Taking, your, taking the hurt and using it to your advantage, to your strength. You have the courage to face the pain, and it will awaken greatness within you. Allow, allow it to be healed as you move through right now. You are genuine and are ready to regenerate. You are full of understanding. Now it is time to recover so you can live a life without locks and keys. Wow. Both of them just fell right into exactly where... Um, the reading said um, it was going. So and that's what I love about these cards is it just so confirms what, you know, the reading says. 
Sagittarius, this weekend you are all about perfection. This card indicates protection and an inner conflict between wanting to look good and having compassion for others. Remain kind and unattached to an outcome. Being right and letting others know that you are right may not always support the understanding that you desire. To enjoy the beauty of a rose, we must risk the pricked we must risk being pricked by our inner thorns. This offers a new way to live. The best incentive to change is love. What what truth am I embracing? This card indicates no longer living a lie. It's time to speak your truth. Choose love over hate. Freedom through transformation. Res resistance to commitment and unexpected outcomes. New truths are coming out. It's time to be authentic because that is something you can treasure and trust. Oh, wait, that was soulmate. I'm sorry. That... <laughs> Let me read perfection for you, Sagittarius. Apparently, you needed to hear that, though, as well. It says, are you being too hard on yourself and, con and consequently on others? Being Begin to look for what's right and good in your world, and you will see it. Where am I presently focusing? Knowing what's right and telling others about it might not be the best, best way of being. Alienating others and feeling alienated may find you at this time. Try not to seek perfection. Deeply desiring... Deeply... Desire love and transformation ahead. You are unique. Your friendships are strong and you will be accepted just as you are. Hmm. So Sagittarius, apparently you had to hear both of those, but that is your guys' card of the weekend, which all three of them fit into the reading perfectly. Just all three of you, different stages of it, which is kind of cool. So, all right, Fire Signs, I hope you guys enjoyed your weekend love reading, and I will see you guys next time. God bless.